Recently, I ran a poll here on YouTube on my community tab asking how you guys prefer to drink rum. And I have to say, the results were pretty surprising. Now, obviously, I didn't expect too many people to vote for drinking rum neat because at the end of the day, neat rum is very, very niche. It is all about cocktail culture with rum. So it wasn't a shock to me that cocktails absolutely smashed it. But what really blew me away was the lack of love for simple highball cocktails, three, four ingredient cocktails that you can whip up in seconds that you don't need to shake. So today in this video, for a little bit of inspiration, I'm gonna bang out 12 easy, simple serve highballs with three to four ingredients to see if I can change your mind about how you would best prefer to drink rum. Because for me, it is pretty much the only way I drink rum here at home these days, simply because I can't be bothered to get all the ice out and the cocktail shakers out to shake drinks. I just want something easy, quick, but with different flavors. So maybe by the end of this video, you'll turn into a simple cocktail, simple highball fan too. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Now to make these highballs really, really simple, I'm just gonna focus on three simple mixers to make this globally available because we are lucky. I will touch on some of them in a minute. We are lucky here in the UK. We have got an abundance of different mixers that just make this so much fun. But I'm fully aware that you don't really have that around Europe, in Australia, sometimes even in the US. So every country has got their own favorite cola. Don't read anything into the brand, I'm just using that. Every country's got their own favorite ginger beer, of course they do. And then the other one is what we would call a Sicilian lemonade, a traditional lemonade, a Victorian lemonade, just real sharp and tangy with a little bit of sweetness to it. But I dare say, if you've seen any of my content, you will know that I absolutely love and adore playing about with simple mixes like this. They're not overly sweet, they're pretty easy to get. The bar you trader here in the UK can get these very, very easily. You've got guava and lime, you've got pineapple and almonds, and you've got mandarin and ginger. It just makes so much fun. We've got rhubarb and hibiscus sodas. We've got pink grapefruit. We've got pineapple sodas. You name it here in the UK. We've got sodas that are just not that sweet, but are perfect for making simple highball cocktails. And you know what? To make this even super, super easy, I'm not really going to use that bottle for anything. I did get it for a video. I've got the bottle of Don Q Gold up there, which I prefer. So all of these, I'm just going to use this Bacardi Gold Rum just to showcase what you can and can't do. But look, if you want to play about with your Appleton signatures, with your Mount Gays, with your Eldorados, you go for your life. I'm just using this because I'm not really going to use it for anything else. Now, just very quickly before I do crack on, um, a couple of things here. I just want to touch on the glass size as well, because for me, a highball is, the glass size is very important because I don't want strong drinks. If I do want strong drinks, I will just drink neat rum. Is how it is. So these are all about sort of casually drinking for me. So I do prefer a 12 ounce highball and I've got my decent sort of three centimeter ice cubes in here, which will perfectly fit sort of 200 mil and a 50 mil UK double bubble. If you wanna go 14 ounce in the US, then go for it. But for me, 16 ounce and then becomes a bit too much. So I do prefer 12 ounce, but I want some feedback from you guys as well. If you do make simple highballs of what I'm gonna do in a minute, then please put them in the description below because this is what my premium ebook is gonna be all about when it finally comes out. I love this. I could do go on for days and days and days. I could genuinely do a 10 hour video and not run out of ideas for this because they're so easy. And also to cut a little bit of time and a little bit so I can just bang through these as well. I'm gonna be using liqueurs for most of these. So these are all quite strong as well. So actually what I'm gonna do is a 45 mil measure of rum in every single drink, okay? 45 mil and 15 mil of liqueur. You can play about with your own ratio. Sometimes I'll be honest, sometimes I even do 30 mil here at home, 30 and 15 to make 45 is completely up to you. I'm just doing this purely for inspiration. Today's video is sponsored by me. If you had a chance to download my free rum ebook yet, if not, you'll find the link below in the description of this video, or you can scan the QR code that's popping up on screen right now. My free rum ebook gets updated twice a year and is packed full of interesting information and tips of how you can enjoy rum. It also includes a few basic rum cocktail recipes, plus how to make one of my favorites. This is a dragon fruit and papaya daiquiri. So what are you waiting for? As I said, you'll find the link in the description below or you can scan that QR code. Right, back to the video. 
So let's go. The first one I'm going to do is a banana libre. So we're going for our rum of choice. I'm going for 15 mil of my banana. Then I'm simply just going to top up with cola. And you could even do a wedge of lime in here if you really wanted to. Heck, you could even do some bitters. There you go. First one done. Banana libre. Absolutely delicious. Of course, you could do banana rum if you've got some. But if you're cocktails, chances are you've got some banana liqueur. How easy is that? The second recipe I'm going to do is a twist on the cherry cola. So I've got my rum. I'm going to do 15 mil of a luscious cherry liqueur. And then we're just going to top that up with cola. That's proper tasty. I much prefer that to buying a can of cherry cola. I like that. You've got the boots forward cherry notes in there with that. That's delicious. Third cola riff I'm going to do is an old school classic. These used to be fly out back in the day. Tia Maria, traditionally vodka and coke, Tia Maria, but actually rum is so much better. Coffee liqueur. I've got my Aluna coffee liqueur here, which is a coconut rum based coffee liqueur. Delicious. Just insert Kahlua, Mr. Black, Tia Maria. Now I'm just going to top it up again with cola. It's always used to be one of my favorite drinks. I love the whole coffee Coke thing. I just think that works so, so well. And then to mix your bit of rum in there as well. Delicious. That one doesn't need lime. I would perhaps put a wedge of lime with the first two, but not that one. Next one we're going to do is a twist on the vanilla cola. Again, this one would probably definitely benefit from a little bit of lime, but I'm going to go liquor 43. You could go Galliano. Remember, it's a vanilla forward liqueur. With, with, with. So essentially 43 stands for 43 different herbs and spices. Overriding flavor is vanilla, but then you've got 42 other things in there. So again, using the cures are not going to make these drinks too sweet. They're just going to be perfect. So a little bit of lime in there, some bitters if you wanted to, to take it up to a four ingredient highball. Just really, really simple. Oh my God, that's, that is really good. That is probably my favorite one out of there. I do love the coffee, don't get me wrong. But out of four colas, I could get over it all day with cola, I really could, but I'm gonna move on to ginger beer now. Now I love playing about with mules and stormies. Um, I would, I'm not gonna bother with this, but just for ease, I would do this with lime wedges to turn this into a dark and stormy and some Angostura bitters. But you know what, some Falernum, 15 mil of Falernum with rum and ginger beer is absolutely flipping delicious. I absolutely adore this. Do you know what? It's a little bit lazy not to get some limes out. I've got a lime here. I'm just going to squeeze that in. Let's let's go for a dash of Angostura bitters as well. Turn it into that sort of Falernum dark and stormy, if you like. Oh my God, I'm such a ginger beer. I love ginger beer. That is so damn good. That's easily now trumped the rum and colas. It's just, I do drink a lot of this at home. This is fantastic. Then another favorite dark and stormy riff for me is the honey. I adore this. A decent honey liqueur. This is a rum based honey liqueur. It's flipping delicious. We've got, I can think of five or six different brands of honey liqueur here in the UK. Got lots of bees, didn't we? Lots of bees. So 15 ml of your honey liqueur, topped up with your ginger beer. And then I will do a wedge of lime. Heck, let's just go. Let's just keep the bottle of Angostura's out here. Let's take all for cheating. Five ingredients, you know. Oh, I love that. I love that. I think if I'm being honest, while I, I do play about with these quirky mixtures a lot, the pineapple and almond and the guava and lime, I will drink those till the cows come home. But I know they're not globally available. So for me to do this sort of video, if I'm talking of globally available mixes, ginger beer for me, has to be my favorite. When you get a perfect ginger beer that you absolutely love, I just adore this. This is just there. Comments below. Uh, come on, let, let's get these, let's build a community. Let's get some simple three, four, five ingredient. Five, if you're including like bitters and a wedge of lime, if you want, but three, four, five ingredient highballs. Get some rocking in the comments below. Now, I haven't cracked out my Frambard de Rance for quite a while in videos. Um, I do actually, for cocktail masterclasses, I do actually use creme de mule because it is, um, is a little bit cheaper, but I still love this stuff. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous berry liqueur, sort of tabery liqueur, 15 mil of this. I think that's the perfect ratio for me, sort of 30 to 45 mil of rum, and then uh, 15 mil of liqueur. And we're just gonna top up with ginger beer, lime and bitters. Berry twists with dark and stormies. Oh, I'm totally in my element. I don't know whether you can tell, but for me, if you're running a pub or a bar, especially here in the UK, I genuinely don't think 
if you're high volume in that, I don't think you have to worry about cocktails. I don't think you do because you put these on a menu, give them a great name, give them, you know, but like make them look appetizing and they just smash it out all day. It's minimal effort, high GP, high cash margins, and they just flipping taste so, so good. Then the last inspiration I'm going to do for uh, like Dark and Stormy is this. I absolutely adore this. This is uh, Tempest Fugit. I've now actually got their banana liqueur here as well, which we'll talk about at a later day. Um, but this is like a vanilla liqueur with a hint of chocolate. It's good. It's seriously goodness. So 15 mil. Wedge your lime done. Angostura done. Yeah, it's just top up with the last bit of ginger beer. There we go. That chocolate and vanilla, dark and stormy. You might think that's a bit weird, but honestly, it tastes so good. Oh, the chocolate notes at the end, chocolate and ginger. Of course, they go together. You know, vanilla and ginger, we know that works together. Oh, ginger beer, done. <laughs> now, it's funny when you get three quarters of the way through a video and you think, hang on, why didn't I just do it like this? This would have been so much quicker for you guys. I know you love to hear me have a waffle, but uh, I prepped up the, the rum and lemons already. So here we go. So Sicilian lemonade, traditional lemonade, Victoria lemonade. I've gone for three, uh, four different mixes here. We've got uh, an orange liqueur, a grapefruit liqueur, mango liqueur. Look, Joseph Cartron are a worldwide brand. Um, I'm not necessarily they'll be available in every corner of your country, but they are out there. You know, I know they're in the US. I know they're around Europe. I know I've seen people to comment about these in Australia, I think, so they can get there. And then I've used, because I've just done a film, the Missionary Downfall video as well, I've got some there. But you could swap that for pineapple juice. You know, don't just think I've got that there for puree. It's simply inspiration. That is exactly the same sort of stuff as I use for um, my pineapple juice. 100% pressed and squeezed pineapple juice. This has just been, um, so you've got the bits, you know, it's like strained. You haven't, it hasn't been strained, if you like. So you've still got a little, like the texture of the pineapple there. But I'm just going to 15 mil of all of those with the rum. And I'm just going to top it up with my Sicilian lemonade. And wedge of lime in all of them as well. Should have done that for the colas, really. I was being lazy. I'm sorry. Do you know what? I flipping adore these because that, this lemonade, as I say, it's not a sweet lemonade. It's got that citrusy, tangy bite. It just works well. If I'm being honest, the one I'd probably go back to time and time again because it's just fun is the pineapple. So if you're going to use pineapple juice, but all of these, like the mango, the mango is absolutely delicious. Grapefruit, so the two sort of citrusy bites with that. You know, your orange citrus, your grapefruit citrus there, just work a treat. So there we go. Let's get these out of the way so you can kind of see the drinks. What would, I, I really want to hear from you guys in the comments now. I really want to know, after watching this video, how you feel about simple three, four ingredient cocktails, highballs, whatever you want to call them. And if you're inspired by this, if you've got that, I want you to get creative and I want you to think of some suggestions to put on there. I'm going to be rocking out loads more of these, probably more in written content, unless this video really takes off and you want more videos like this. But it will probably be more posts and more written form. I've got tons and tons and tons of mixers. My mixer shelf up there, I've 35, 40 different brands, at least of different flavored stuff. I could genuinely go all day, but I wanna hear from you guys. Whatever mixers you've got in your country, whether it's root beer, whether it's, I don't know, kiwi, fizzy kiwi, I don't know. Let me hear from you guys. What do you think? Out of all 12 of these, which one would you pick?